Hey there guys, it's Lee here for iMind Blocks. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm just gonna be sharing something with you that I think is a useful tool, a useful feature, and something that I think will help with your whole uh, cryptocurrency management. So if like me, maybe you've uh, been mining or acquiring uh, various uh, coins over time. So maybe if you know, over the past sort of year or a few months, you've, uh, you've picked up a, a little bit of Bitcoin Maybe you've moved in and picked up maybe some Litecoin as well. Going on from that, maybe you've picked up a few Dash and hidden those away somewhere. And then from there, maybe you've also had some Ethereum as well and you've got those stashed down the back of your sofa. Now, if you're like me, you probably want to keep an eye on what the different values are of each of the coins. And until now, the sort of the way you would do that is uh, check your coins on an individual basis. You just go to coin market cap or other sites are obviously available. And you just kind of go and check your coins one by one. So um, today we're looking at Bitcoin, it's trading at $605. Ethereum is $13.34, uh, Dash uh, $12.09. So if you've got a couple of different uh, currencies or coins, uh, checking them kind of one by one is, is not too bad. Uh, but the problem kind of exists is that if you've got different amounts of different coins, and they're also obviously different values to try and get a, a complete portfolio balance or you know cash value of your uh, crypto wallets it's quite difficult to do because like i say you've got different amounts of coins they're all different prices and you know to do them one by one takes a lot of time and effort so anyway i found an actual uh, website that i kind of discovered and um, so i'm going to share that with you now so the actual website is called cryptocompare.com and they've got quite a few useful features. They've got a forum on there. They've got some mining information. Uh, they've got some information regarding GPUs and other bits and pieces, and um, also a breakdown of individual coins and stuff as well. So the overall site is really good. And just to point out, this is not endorsed by Crypto Compare. It's just a, a site that I actually discovered. Uh, but the tool that I actually want to show you is this portfolio tool. And I think it's the actual best feature of the site, in my opinion. So what it does is it allows you to add all your coins into one single place, and then it gives you a value, a portfolio value of your entire you know, coins or whatever you sort of upload it. So I'll just show you exactly how it works. So you can see I've already added a few coins in here. I've got some Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dash. Uh, if we move more over to the center, we've got a price for each of these. So this is obviously the current uh, daily price for each one of the coins. And like I say, it reflects those that I just showed you on the coin market cap side. So what you do is you add the amount of each coin that you've got, and you can also add in there the original price that you purchased it for. And then on the next column, you've got total value, which is the value of that particular column, uh, that line uh, example. Uh, in this case, it's uh, Bitcoin. Obviously, we've only got one of those. Uh, Litecoin, I've put down, we've got 10, which is $38. And then you've got a profit and loss, which is based on the actual uh, value that you actually purchased them for. So in this case, I put that I purchased Bitcoin for one at $300. That gives me a profit of $305. And it also tells you that as a percentage. Uh, but the feature that I really like is it gives you a, a total percentage, uh, sorry, a total price for your entire holdings. So here we've got the total holdings are $703.91. So for example, rather than looking at three different lots of prices for three different coins, and also three different amounts, I can just kind of log into my um, portfolio. I can see the daily prices on a, on a day by day basis and I can see the total uh, balance. Uh, adding new coins is really easy as well. You just click on this little plus. So let's say I picked up um, NXT, uh, another coin that I actually hold. Uh, let's just say I hold um, a thousand of these. Uh, the buy price wouldn't be very much. Let's just say it was um, a cent each. You can also change the currency, so you can say that you've purchased in Bitcoin or you know whatever sort of a method you would have used. Oh, sorry, I need to do. I think I need to do 0.01. I think you need to do it like that. Uh, you can also add in a description, and then you've got advanced options um, as well. I'll come back to that in just a moment. So we add that to our portfolio, and now we've got NXT in our portfolio as well. So you can see we've got a thousand, which is the amount I entered, and it gives you the line value so for nxt we've got a total of twelve dollars and fifty six and obviously that's been added up to our total holdings as well 
So this is really good. It features lots of different coins. Um, I've got some expanse as well. Let's just say we have a few of those. And let's just say we bought them at um, 10 cents each on those. The advanced um, options is um, not really much to it. It says advanced options, but it's not really that advanced. Uh, it's just uh, a reference really for yourself as to where the actual uh, currency is held, either in your local wallet or an exchange. That might be useful. And also the, the descriptions as well. So you might say that you keep it in a like a web wallet somewhere and then maybe like the web address, for example. Um, and that might be useful for you just to kind of keep track of your own sort of wallets and references and things like that. So I'm just gonna add that to the portfolio as well. So now you can see we've got our expanse, we've got 500, it's, we've got the price that we bought out, we've got the current value of that sort of line of items, and we've got the profit and loss uh, according to the price that we purchased them at. And once again, our total holdings have increased in value. You've also got a 24 hour profit and loss on your total holdings as well. So obviously that's not really relevant um, at the moment, but um, over time, obviously that goes up and down and it gives you a better understanding of exactly how your portfolio is doing as a, as a whole. So I think this is a really useful tool. I found it to be really useful for managing and keeping a close eye on my uh, crypto holdings uh, portfolio as a whole, and hopefully you'll find it useful too. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you've liked this video and you found this to be useful. Um, if you have, um, be sure to give it a like. Any questions or comments, as always, just put those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. And um, you know, if you like this sort of style of video and you're not already a subscriber, uh, please consider subscribing because I upload videos like this on a fairly frequently basis and um, you'll see a lot more of this type of content. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.